Hello, and welcome to Shark Cut Up CNC. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the rotary job setup. Uh, how many of you guys out there have spent many an hour or days trying to figure out the rotary setup? Okay, you can put your hands down now. Uh, I have spent many days and hours trying to figure this out too. And when I did finally figure it out, I saved it as a CRV file. I was not totally aware of the saving as a template, which I should have done as saved it as a template. But anyhow, I happened to fall back on the rotary setup just recently. And I realized that it was on my computer somewhere but I couldn't remember where. So I went to my file, Windows Explorer, and did a search on Rotary and was able to find it. I put it in VCAR, brought it up, and then I saved it immediately as a template. That way I no longer have to remember where to find that file when I go to do a job. I was hoping I had it and I wouldn't have to go through that spending many hours and days trying to re reset up the, the uh, rotary setup because it is a complicated little item, but once you get it, you make a template and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. You just work from the template. <laughs> but anyhow, here's my rotary spindle in the Y axis on my machine. And I also have a tool path saved along with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say okay to this. And I'm gonna go ahead and reset everything just to make sure everything's okay. And then we're gonna preview the visible. It's gonna open it up on a flat view it's going to carve it in your 3D view, in the 2D view, flat. And then it'll rewrap it 3D. But boy, I tell you what, I, I was sure glad I found this file. I did a search with my file and Windows Explorer. There you go. You see the the rotary created it in my y-axis. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the 2D view, and I'll show you a few things here. Go to my clip art and rotary profiles. I have made a bunch of rotary profiles, and the profiles are half the diameter of the item that I wanted. And I've got these little tails showing the half the diameter. If, if I take and bring one of these profiles in, you'll see that it has it. But now when I go to create my tool pass, I don't want these because it'll be going along, going along carving, and then all of a sudden it'll bleep, go straight down. You don't want that. So you want to cut this off by using the node edit show you an example using this here. You node edit to cut those away from your profile. Now you have just that profile that you're going to use with their sweat profile. Now in here, I also have, you have to have two vectors to for the sweat profile. You need a rail, and you need the profile that it's going to follow. Okay, this is the rail right here. And this is your vector profile. So if I double click on my tool path, you'll see that it has some paths, and then, the, or I should say, directions. 
if you reverse, you right click on it, if you reverse the direction, it'll reverse the vector uh, the way it's going to carve it. It's going to carve it from this end to this end, but it'll also turn it around in your view when you carve it. So you want to be aware of that. And also sometimes when you set your rail, it'll be to the outside. All you got to do is right click on the rail, reverse it. Now it's on the inside of the material. And then once you've got those items set, you just calculate and away you go. There we have our tool path. Now, I'll go back to the 2D view and I'll recreate that. Okay, this is a little change. Okay, it's a different vector and everything. So what we'll do is we'll double click on the tool path and we'll select the rail. Just hold the shift key down and then we'll select the profile vector and of course i want it to on the opposite direction so what i'm going to do is re right click reverse and now i'm going to say calculate and there it changed and if we do a reset preview you'll see the material. And of course, if you want to check your material, you go make sure you're going to be carving a little bit outside. Yeah, we're carving a little bit outside and then we, we hit the actual material, I mean, the actual carving itself. So there you've seen how to set up a job setup for a rotary Got the wrong buttons here. Here we go. So anyway, there you have how to set up a job setup. Well, once you've determined it and everything, cancel this. Once you've got it all set up and your tool path, your job setup done, go to File, Save as Template. And it'll save it as a CRVT file. And it'll save it where you've got it on your computer. I have mine on my computer under project templates. And all those sheets with the different material thicknesses, different sizes. And I have one for the rotary so far. So there you have it, folks, a rotary setup. And boy, I tell you what, spending many hours, many days doing fiddling around with the rotary. Of course, there are tutorial videos out there, but they don't show you some things. And it makes it rather complicated. It is a complicated item to set up. And... I, I spent some time doing it. I'm sure you have. So thank you for watching Shark Cut Up CNC.